have another training Tuesday. Um, and sorry I've missed a few recently. Um, I've just been a bit busy, a bit hectic. Oh, I can't open this back. Um, yeah, so for this training Tuesday, I thought we'd do something on training multiple dogs. So I've got three with me. Um, the pod's like, it's a bit distracted because Raven's nearly ready for a standing days. So he thinks he's in with a chance and he's not. Um, so pod may or may not listen. I think he will. I have faith. So to train multiple dogs, start with training them on their own. So for example, I'd be like, no, let's sit. Katniss, sit, and you start with behaviours they know. So they know sit. Nala's being very good, and she's staying in her sit. So Nala's going to be rewarded. Katniss isn't. So that's sort of step number one: is making sure they know some basic behaviours. They know how to follow a lure. So if I lure the pair of them onto this bed side by side, I'm in sit. So to be a bit of a perfectionist, sorry, it's windy. Um, I would say that Katniss isn't quite far enough forward just to be, you know, in complete line. Push. And wait. Wait. So you can see they're not quite in a perfect line. So that's okay for the start. So you think this is the start of our session, and you all know me. Ready, Pod? You're good guys. Is I quite like to be a perfectionist. So, Katniss and Pod are quite good. Nala's the one who's creeped. So what I try and do in this situation is I keep the two of them in the place I want, busy with what's in my hand, while the other hand is manoeuvring Nala. So they all had a sweep then except for Katniss, so I just corrected that and then I should be able to go, well done, good guys. So you see how they're all holding their position, they're all holding their focus and that's really good. And then I'm going to go, okay, break, break, break. So when you break them, just got to be like mindful that you're doing it Katniss. Um, in a way that they all get a reward for their break. Ready and target. Nala, target. You were the one who's cheeked in, Nala. Nala, target. Yes. Well done. N -n -n -n. Pod. Target. Yes. Come wait. You're good guys. It's a good target. It's a good target. So all I am doing is going over behaviours they already know and just putting it with them all in alignment. So it's easier with two hands. So sometimes like if I'm filming or I want to take a picture and I got the phone in the hand, then I've only got like one hand to guide the dogs, then that's a bit trickier. But you manage it. So we're going to go break, break, break. You want to find it? Yes. So I'm just going to remove this because mine can get a bit sort of stuck on the stack block because they really enjoy um not a stack block a target block whatever you want to call it words are tricky today because i'm a bit tired but never mind pod pod right now forward right move your bums in there we go sit now let you too far forward and down I know I'm blocking there. Good guys, and wait. Wait, no, ah, no, no. Hot, no, down. Down. Down, all the way. Down. All that, why did you flip sideways again? Hot, down. Hot, down. Hot. Down. All that, down. Sometimes quite firm. Pod thought he heard a cut. 
half. Good way. Hold, come. So that was tricky because now Ollie was like flicking sideways. And then Hod felt like he couldn't lie down. Hod. Hod. Hod red. Boy, hand down. Good. And wait. No, down. Wait. Hod. Wait. Good guys, you're paying attention. Good wait for you three. Let me just come out of camera. Good girl. So what I've got to practice, good guys, is like working distance with them all here. So you're all being very good. Ah, uh -uh. hold down. Hold down. Yes. So he isn't going to get a reward. Well, he wasn't going to get a reward until he was down. Got to wait, guys. Keep good at waiting. Keep good waiters. Very good, guys. Well done. Well done. So you can see, like, none of what I'm working on is, like, dynamic, so it's not involving movement. Wait. That was a bit tricky because I'm turning my back and I'm going to my car where I put the treats on the roof. And now they're watching me get the treats out. Wait, and now a cat's walking up the car. So they're working well with distractions. So that's a uh, 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 pod. No, Nala gets the treats, nobody else does. Come on. Pod. You were holding it so well. It's actually me walking back towards them, down, that stops them from holding their catnip down. Now they're down. Never mind scratching. Now that's down. Wait, down. Wait. Ah, wait. So this time. just break them so they just always make sure you like release the behavior on the group stays and weights and then the other thing you can play with is getting them to do things in sync so like spins and twists so that's what we're going to start with with whoever's going to come probably these two so for those spin and twists you want them a little bit of a distance away from one another so they can actually get the behavior now that you dropped it Little twist. Yes. Good guy. And bow. Katniss, those are rubbish bow. So, do a bag in sync, but Katniss isn't very good at a bag. But you can just, any behaviour they know, you just double it. So even stats. Catnips. Pod. Podrick. Pod. Hey. Good boy, Potty. It's like a tractor or something coming up the drive. Good boy. Wait. Pod. No. Wait. Sit. Sit, Podrick! So sometimes you got to be quite firm with him. Because he's too much of a boy and thinks he's got a job to do, which he hasn't. His only job is to listen to your mummy. Pod! Podrick! You listen. Get your bottom here. So this is just working through distractions. See how he wants to turn to look down the drive, and I'm just actually not going to. So this is real life training. Just stood right in front of him. He can't look. So he wants to look either side of me. Pod, wait, and sit. Pod, sit. Just wants to turn. Pod, sit. So he's turning. Pod. Now 
not letting him look. Sit. Sit. Wait. Whatever was there, I can't hear it anymore. Put sit. Right. This is none of your business. Is it? So this is like where he hasn't got such a strong food drive as the others. Because if I didn't have food, Katniss and Nala, no, might have been more interested. But because I've got food, they're not interested. See how it's none of your business? See how the world hasn't ended because you haven't gone to watch? He won't even take a treat now. So I wound up he's got that I'm not letting him do what he wants to do. Podrick, and see how we've gradually moved backwards and we've spun again? Sit. Sit. And wait. So these two are sitting. Podrick, sit! So all I'm doing, I'm holding him so I'm enforcing what the behaviour I want. Because if I didn't hold him, he'd likely do what he wants to do and ignore me. So I'm just making sure he can't get away with ignoring me. And that's all I'm doing. And that's why my voice deepens. Because he's got to know that I'm in charge. And if I say you can't run down the drive and look at Podrick, sit. Wait. If I say you can't walk up, look down the drive, run down the drive to see what's going on, then he can't, he's not allowed. And he's just, can be quite stubborn. What he always forgets is I'm just as stubborn. So you can see he's starting, he is starting to relax a little bit. I still don't think he'll take a treat. Oh, he did. Good boy. And I'm still not going to let him go down there. See how he's pulling? Pot, enough. He just always forgets that his job is to be my dog. His job isn't to look after me in the pack. Sit. Pot, sit. Sit. You are the stubbornest git ever. You are. Wait. But basically, if you let your dog get away with not listening to you, that little escalation will keep on escalating. Podrick, sit! So every time, no, they get away with not listening to you. And pod, sit, wait, and performing their own agenda that will always keep escalating until something quite a dangerous behavior ends up happening. Like they run off towards the road because he's learned that there's no consequence to getting away with not listening to me. There's not a consequence to um, just completely ignoring me, but th this is a consequence. He hasn't got away with it. He's still doing what I want him to do. Okay, we've abandoned the group training session and I focused on him, but he's still here. He still hasn't been able to clock out and do his own thing. So even though it's not quite the session I had planned, he's still, it's still been a productive enough one because we had good work at the start. Then he heard a tractor and wanted to go and check it out. And that is all that happened. And he didn't, he wasn't allowed to do it. No, if he was running around on the scent of Raven, it's a little bit different because he is a stud dog. He, ha he does know what that's all about. And he does know what, you know, the smell of bitches in season is. And that's like the hardest thing to override. Him wanting to be nosy and just ignore me is nothing. You can see, like, I've got one finger on the handle of his collar. I'm not really holding him. He can, he just knows I'm here. 
and you can still hear the tractor i can still hear it i think it might be coming up the drive now but that's fine so anyway i am going to leave this session here hope you found it useful because um it didn't go to plan but anyway i shall see you all soon bye <laughs>